for high score through smart learning, optimum utilization of time and less stress. Today I am going to take up the writing section and in writing section we will be doing letter of inquiry. Now letter for placing an order I have already discussed. You can go and check the playlist and you can watch the video. And there I have discussed the format, I have discussed the marking scheme and therefore I am not going to discuss both the things in detail here. So letter of inquiry. This is the question. These days there is a quite a hype about online coding classes for students. You too have developed a liking for the same and want to join one such course. You have seen the advertisement of White Hat Junior coding classes on TV. Write a letter to White Hat Junior, Sector 11, Gurgaon, inquiring about the course for yourself in about 100 to 120 words. You are Ajeev Sharma, living at 56 Kohinoor Nagar, New Delhi. So let's see what is there in the letter that you have to write. So first thing is that there is a hype about the online coding classes and therefore you have also developed a liking for the same. And you want to join one such course and you have seen the advertisement in on TV. So now... You have to write a letter to them inquiring about the course and other things that you might know before you join it. So you are Rajiv Sharma and this is the address given. So now we will begin with the letter. But before that, this is what you should know first. Inquire versus inquire. So what is the difference and whether these can be used interchangeably. Now, traditionally, inquire, it simply meant ask. So, asking your queries. While inquire, it was used for formal investigation. So, how to remember this? I-N of inquire and I-N of investigation. So, this inquire is used in official cases where investigation is required. So, in the UK, the two words, they are used interchangeably. So in United Kingdom, these two words, they were used interchangeably. Although inquire is still more commonly used word for formal or official investigations. And in United States, inquire is strongly preferred spelling in all the uses. But since here, we have to write a letter for asking of queries, it should be EN and it should not be IN. So we'll be using inquire with E. Now here is the format. So I've already told you to write on the side of your answer sheet SDR SSC and then follow the format. Sender's address first. So it's given 56 Kohinoor Nagar, Delhi. Then comes D, date. So write the date, October 28, 2020. Then comes R, the receiver's address. So you can write the director, White Hat Junior, Sector 11, Gurgaon. And since it is not given that you have to write the letter to whom. So you can write the director, or you can write the CEO. So because of such online classes or companies, there's a CEO also. So any out of the two, it will be correct. Then comes subject. So, inquiry about online coding course. Simple and crisp, short subject. Then, sir, again, no requirement for dear or respected. Recently, I saw your advertisement on TV, which has made me quite interested in joining online coding course. So, first thing to write is give reference from where you have come to know about them. So first thing, reference. So I have highlighted the word advertisement. You will underline it there. And you are writing that you have become interested in that. So tell something about you and why you are interested in it in the first paragraph. So that will be your first paragraph. So I'm a student of class 10 and want to pursue a career in computer sciences. I feel this course would be an extra benefit for me. So you are telling that why you have become interested, why you want to do it. So before joining the course, I would like to inquire about a few things. So this will be the first paragraph. First paragraph will contain your reference from where you come to know about them and you write something about yourself and why you want to do that particular thing or why you are asking for it. So that will be your first paragraph. 
Now in the body paragraph, that is your second and the third paragraphs, there you will be asking your questions. So there are two ways to ask questions. You can write the questions in bullet form also, but you can write them in paragraph also. So mostly it is preferred that you write your questions in complete sentences. But if you write it in bullet form, in points also, they won't be wrong. But I prefer the paragraph thing. So kindly acquaint me with the different coding courses and their duration. So first thing to ask is different coding courses and their duration. Again, these things I've highlighted, you will underline them. So the main thing in your question, highlight that so that the examiner, if the examiner does not want to read the whole sentence, the examiner can only read the highlighted points or the underlined points and the examiner will come to know that yes, all your queries, you've written all the queries and you will get marks. So highlighting the thing, it is very important. So kindly acquaint me with the different coding courses and their duration so that I can select one according to my requirement. Are all the courses certificate courses? So this is your second query that all the courses, by the end of the courses, there will be a certificate. Also send the details of the fee structure for each course. So next query. Is there any scholarship for outstanding students? Again your query. I heard from someone that you are giving some student discount also. Do let me know about that too. So all your queries but look at the sentence formation. It is not looking like that your sentences, they are beginning with the same. What is this? Or tell me this. Or again, I want to know this. So it is going with the flow. So you have to write like this only so that it doesn't look monotonous. So I'm reading the queries again. So kindly acquaint me with the different coding courses and the duration so that I can select one according to my requirement. Are all the courses certificate courses? Also send the details of the fee structure for each course. Is there any scholarship for outstanding students? I heard from someone that you are giving some student discount also. Do let me know about that too. Now your next paragraph, you have if you have certain other queries, so you will be asking those. Will the classes be held in batches or on individual basis? Since it is going to be an online class, what are the technology requirements for the same? So you are asking for each and every question that is coming to your mind for an online class or something that you should know before joining an institute or a class, ask those things. So can I take the course at my pace? That is with breaks in between in case of my exams, etc. So when you have written all the questions that are uh, of great importance like directly related to the course that you write in the second paragraph and then in the third paragraph write down the points or write down the questions that are secondary like completing the course at my own pace with breaks in between in case of my exams and most importantly I would like to know when can I start with the course the sooner the better. I would like to join the demo class. Kindly let me know about that too. It would be great if you send a brochure and a registration form along with the details at the above given address. So, uh, sorry, as soon as you can so that I can join the classes at the earliest. So again, in the end, in the last paragraph, ask for a brochure and a registration form. So ask them to send it to the address that is given above. So end by writing that so that I can join the classes at the earliest. Looking forward for a prompt reply. Yours truly and sign with your name. So again, you can just write your name or you can sign and you can also give your phone number here. It is optional. You can give your phone number by writing that in case of any query, you can call me at. So you can write your phone number or you can just write your phone number below your Nay, that is your choice. So this is the inquiry letter. The main thing to take care is that whatever questions they come to your mind, jot down those questions in rough first when you read the question of the letter. That suppose 
you want to join that or you want to go there and ask for something before making a purchase or before going somewhere so what all questions would you like to be answered so just jot down those and after that frame those points in sentences and you have to write those jotted down points in such a way that all the important ones they should come in the second paragraph and the secondary ones they should come below in the third paragraph and your fourth paragraph should be conclusion where you will be asking for a brochure and registration form things like that and then in the last line looking forward for a prompt reply and write yours truly so again a very simple way to write an inquiry letter if you follow all these steps your marks won't be deducted you will get full marks for the letter so that's all for today i hope that you have you've understood the inquiry letter and there will be no problem for you to write it do subscribe to my channel see the playlist there there's letter for placing an order also and then there is analytical paragraph writing also there is grammar portion and chapters also and all this is going to be very helpful for you during your exams give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that everyone can gain do tell me how helpful did you find it and follow me on instagram for the latest updates thank you for now until the next video